Welcome back to Daily Flash. As we all deal with this pandemic, we're all asking ourselves, how do we move forward? What's next? Here with more information on how to move forward is author of a book, Holistic Wealth by Keisha Blair. Thanks for having me on the show today. It's great to be here. And today I want to talk with you about planning well for the future. I've, I've spoken before about the issue of panic buying during the COVID-19 pandemic, because when we started out, a lot of people went out and um, stocked up on lots of toilet paper, other items. And because of that, we're now experiencing a shortage. And so within the context of this pandemic, it's always good for us to think about how to plan well for the future, how to set up ourselves and our families to be almost self-sufficient just in case, um, you know, there are things down the road like famine, food shortages, things like that. And so I want you to remember the two concepts that I've spoken about before, and that's financial resourcefulness and financial resilience. And part of those two is making sure that you have sufficient supplies on hand. So I think it's great if we go out and, you know, we stock up on certain items that we need. Food items like tin food, you know, toilet paper that we all need, water supplies for the kids who are at home without going overboard and creating shortages within the system for others who might need like the elderly and the vulnerable disabled people. Um, and in doing so, in planning for the future, just to ensure that we have enough, you know, my mother lives in New York City and she lives in an apartment building like so many others. And she experienced the anxiety and the stress of wondering whether or not she should go out to the supermarket. And eventually we made the decision for her that she should stay in and order food. So one of the lessons that we're all learning together in this collectively is that, you know, putting in place different strategies of getting or food supplies, like ordering online, whether it's from a supermarket, she ordered from the supermarket that was closest to her, that she's used to shopping, they know her there, and she, she, she got her food within an hour. Um, there you go, she got her supplies within an hour. So put in place strategies that makes it easier to get the supplies you need without having to expose yourself or your family, and that's safer in terms of how you get your food and how you're able to store and, you know, and, 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 and disinfect whatever you need to. But the key things to keep in mind going forward are those two concepts of financial resilience and financial resourcefulness. Because I think a lot of us are starting to realize that being resourceful in this period is what's going to get us through to the next and, and, and what's going to get us to overcome this. And, and keep in mind your budget, keep in mind planning for what you need, really taking stock of your food supplies and what's dwindling, what's not. And, and also, you know, cre being creative about how you're cooking and the meals that you're making and, and ensuring that there's no waste. And I think if we do that together, um, you know, and keeping in mind these two concepts that we'll be better able and our families will be well prepared if there are any food shortages in the system down the road.